start off or should I start off with? You can start off. You can start off. All right. All right. So, so I went with Napoleon Kaufman. He was the Mm -hmm. running back in the early nineties. He was part of the shared national championship with Miami when they were undefeated. I mean, he was part of one of the greatest games in Husky history, the whammy in Miami. If you don't know what that is, you should probably Google that because that's when the Huskies took down Miami after they were on a nine-year winning streak. Miami hadn't lost in nine years, and the Huskies upset them. So back to Napoleon Kaufman. He had, when he left, he left with most of the Husky rushing records. He was the leading rusher for UW. He was the first UW running back to rush for over 4,000 yards in his career. He was only really the starter for three of those years, unlike the guy who passed him, Miles Gaskin who ended up beating him, but he was the starter for four years, basically. Mm-hmm. But he had, he had more games. And then the accolades that Napoleon Kaufman has are just extensive. He was all Pac-10 team for his three years as a starter. He was, the, he was voted the team MVP in 1990, 1993 and 1994. He's, he's got all sorts of accolades. And when you watch him run, like I... I searched up Napoleon Kaufman college highlights and I just watched him run. All I could say was, wow, because this guy had, he was elusive yet. He was also a guy who could not be taken down with just an arm tackle. And he's, he's not a big guy. Napoleon Kaufman. I think he was about five foot nine, 180 pounds. And he ran like he was those six foot, 230 pounds going up against he would put his head down against anyone. I mean, he could bench press. They said they, it was a report. He bench pressed 400 pounds. This guy was a gym rat and it showed on the field with his play. You want to introduce your pick? Who? Yeah. Is a so good I, was guy. A, I was a running back in high school um, and I play rugby now, which means I have intense respect for the big guys. Uh, those guys that fight in the trenches, the linemen. And because of that, my number two pick um I almost hinted at what my number one pick is, but I'm not going to do it. My number two pick for this week for the second greatest Husky player of all time is Lincoln Kennedy, the O tackle. Same era as Napoleon Kaufman, actually. Teammates. Teammates, yes. Um, and almost almost ironically, or if not perfectly, like this was given to me by, by some kind of power above. Um, I have the beautiful argument, argument in front of me that if my pick, Lincoln Kennedy, sucked at football as an O lineman, Napoleon Kaufman would have been able to do nothing. And that's my first point. That's my only point. I'll hear your rebuttal is just that if my pick sucked, your pick would have been able to do nothing all season. All right. To counter that point, I'd like to say that's one person on the offensive line. He, okay. He may have helped him out when he was, I believe he was like a right tackle maybe or left one, one of the tackles So when he's running that side. Yeah, of course, Lincoln Kennedy is going to help him out. I mean, Lincoln Kennedy is one of the greatest O linemen in college football of one of the greatest Huskies. So of course that helped Napoleon Kaufman, but Napoleon Kaufman <clears throat> didn't just run to that side. He ran up the middle. He ran outside the other end. He, so Lincoln Kennedy did not make Napoleon Kaufman. You ready for this, Nathan? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to hear what you have to say. All right, cool. So let's just do, let's just do like crazy statistics, awards that Lincoln Kennedy's yeah. grabbed. Um, Scratch that. Let's start with the stature. The man's 6'6 and over 330 pounds. He's a big boy. In college. Oh, my God. The man's huge. Especially for um, that era, he was. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, he was two-time winner of the Morris Trophy, which just meant best lineman in the conference. Um, he won that back-to-back years. He was consensus All-American 92. He was College Football Hall of Fame by 2015. He won the Jim Parker Trophy that same uh, the same season he got consensus All-American, which is the nation's most outstanding lineman in every league. Um, yeah, Napoleon Kaufman season is just not possible without Kennedy. And to your point that a single lineman is not the difference maker, um, I would just love to run through very quickly, not quickly, this is a lot, there's a lot of teams I pulled from here, about O-line versus skill players. Um, first off, we have the 90s Broncos. Terrell Davis uh, then earned an average of over four yards of carry in his first four seasons because of that line. He also, that line also gave Elway time to carry them to back-to-back Super Bowl victories. That's just the 90s Broncos. We still have the 70s Cardinals, the 80s Redskins, the 70s Steelers, with Mike Webster leading the charge for running backs, Frank Harris, 
Franco Harris and Rocky Blair and keeping Terry Bradshaw safe during their four Super Bowl dubs over six years. This is the O-lineman again. And then we have the 50s Browns, the 60 Packers, which doesn't really count because they won the first two Super Bowls. Is the I mean, that team's great. Go Packers. We have the 90s Cowboys. We have the 70s Raiders. I mean, I can just keep going on and on about O-lines that carry their team to victory. Yeah, I mean, you could go on and on, but if you look at it, actually, Lincoln Kennedy and Napoleon Kaufman he wasn't there in Napoleon Kaufman's whole career. He wasn't actually on UW's team Napoleon's best years because I believe Lincoln Kennedy was there from, correct me if I'm wrong, 1989 to 1992. Is that Lincoln Kennedy's three years he was really the starter? That's a great question. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was, so you could correct me later on if I'm wrong. But Napoleon Kaufman's better years were his junior and senior year where he did win that team MVP and he might not have been first team All American. He was second team All American, and then third team All American his junior year. He, um, in those junior and senior years, he averaged five point seven yards a carry and five point five yards a carry. Those were truly his best years, and that's without that guy who your first argument was Lincoln Kennedy basically made Napoleon Kaufman a great running yeah, back. Yeah, he, he literally set the foundation for this man to not only inherit a great in season O line that got to study and, and gather like tutelage <laughs> under him. Well, now you're changing it. You're saying that Lincoln Whoa, Kennedy... whoa, whoa. No, no, no. I, I said Lincoln <sighs> Kennedy has set this man up for success, whether it be the shared season, which they didn't have, or the seasons coming after where Lincoln Kennedy literally set up such a prestigious O line. Like, so you're thinking Lincoln Napoleon Kennedy Kaufman just, have destroyed it just if he tried made. To. This O line yes, you does sat there in the UW right. locker room at the greatest setting on earth, our stadium, and crafted him from clay, stuck him on the field, <laughs> and said, "Run, I'll block for you," and it's great. That's what he set up for the man. But I don't see how one one player, no matter how great Lincoln Kennedy was and like is, he couldn't have, he's not the reason for Napoleon Kaufman's success. Napoleon Kaufman's success came from just his pure talent and skill and his determination he played with when he was out there on the football field. And why haven't I heard about him before today? Well, I don't know. You must not be a true Husky fan. I mean, I heard about Lincoln Kennedy. (laughs) Mm, And I'm a running back. What does that say? Well, you must not have done your research. Oh, I did my research, sir. I have three and a half pages of text here telling me why O-linemen are better than running backs. Well, I'm not arguing O-linemen aren't better. And this O-lineman is better than your running back. (laughs) Well, I... Lincoln I Kennedy just, is just is just a superior. I mean, okay, like even let's just bare 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 bones minimum. There's like boxing ring, nothing on. These two guys are like just sitting there, right? And now you're setting them up to box. This is I, it. Doesn't matter. Like, no matter what the situation you put them together in is, Lincoln Kennedy comes out on top just because of physicality. Well, like, he's stature gonna, alone, the man out. wins. Well, you're putting him one out. This is a five foot nine, hundred eighty pound running back going up against a. What'd you say? Six foot six, three hundred and thirty pound hotel. Thirty pounds. That's, that's correct. Of course, the O lineman's gonna win on some one on one bare knuckle boxing. But we're talking about okay, one on one in the hole. Who wins, a D lineman or a running back? A, a running back could win, or D lineman. D lineman wins. Same skill ever, level. D lineman wins. You've Without never seen a, a running back run right through. Have you seen Rudy? I've 